Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. So in this video I'm making a small drawer. This is to fit inside of a blanket chest. Um, so I'm going to be cutting some Japanese style dovetails I believe they are. So here you can just see that I'm marking out for the thickness. Now I'm just getting rough uh, measurements here and then I'm using my marker knife to score the shoulder lines. So here I'm just lining the two pieces up together and this allows me to transfer the shoulder lines and this is just going to give us nice crisp results yeah, this is what you should be shooting for rather than pencil lines so here i've lost my dividers i've no idea where they are so i'm marking out for the center then i use a chisel for the center piece now because these dovetails are japanese inspired obviously they're, they're a different variation on dovetails so the pin actually has what you would consider a finger joint in the middle so that's why i'm using the chisel to make sure i can actually get the chisel down there so here i'm just marking out for the dovetails um squaring lines down um this particular angle what i'm using what i normally always use is 80 degrees obviously you could use 70 degrees or, or whatever degree um is better suited for you and whatever you used to but i do use 80 degrees works well for me so here um, as you can see i'm just showing you what's marked out so you can see the crosses what's going to be removed and obviously the center piece that's all scribbled out as well now that I've got the first one marked out, I can just transfer the pencil lines over. This saves a lot of time and this is what I normally do. So with this, I was able to actually use the notch um, in my bench. Yeah, I don't do this a lot, um, but this is how I prefer to cut the pins. And I don't normally cut the pins first. Um, it's actually a cardinal sin for me. <laughs> but where with the joints uh, being the japanese style and um, there's more cuts in them the smaller areas to get into um this was the best viable option for me um so as you can see i'm just cutting all these joints um and i will recommend that you use a good dovetail and so so another thing that i like to do i do like to remove the shoulder lines now I just use my coping saw to remove the material. I try to get as close to the line as possible. Um, this is going to be beneficial for when you're chiseling out. Um, and obviously I just remove um, you know, the excess material down to the shoulder line with my chisel. Next, you can see as I'm getting everything lined up and marking out with a pencil, uh, something to note here, make sure your pencil uh, tip is nice and sharp, otherwise you won't get accurate um, pencil markings. Now, I cut the tails. Um, this is my preferred method. Uh, I just like to cut the tails in the horizontal position. I like to use gravity to, to help us aid. Um, keeping everything nice and square. Some people may argue with that, but that's what I like to do. Next, I'm just going to remove the two outside shoulders. Um, sometimes I do this first, sometimes I do this last. So I'm just creating a knife valley and this is just um, to house me saw. 
This is actually a flush saw. Um, it's a really fine cut and I have been using it to do things like this. Um, as you can see there, I've actually damaged the edge of the corner of the dovetail. So there's super glue on the edge of my knife there. Um, so I've just smeared it onto the, to the wood. Um, and I actually just put the, the piece that dropped off or what, what come off rather. Uh, and just spray some uh, activator on it and Bob's your uncle you're ready to go again so while I've got it in this position I am actually just going to clean the tail up because I was actually not quite on my line uh, so it was out of square a little bit so I did have to clean that up <laughs> So here I am just removing some of the material, exactly the same again. So, as I said, I couldn't find my small chisel. So here you actually are seeing us use a screwdriver that I did actually sharpen up. Um, it's not really adequate, but it did do the job. So on the first joints, um, it was too tight i didn't get it straight off the saw as which i am for so i did have to remove a little bit of material from the pins so here i'm just putting the thing together um and I was actually quite uh, lucky with this. Um, out of the four corners, I did only have to fit one of the corners. And I did actually get three of the corners straight off the saw, which is always good. And that's what I always try to, to accomplish when I do any sort of dovetail. It just saves you a lot of time and effort. I'm cleaning the joints up now I wouldn't normally do this but I am experimenting here and I'm actually not going to glue this draw up at all so here I'm just leveling off um, the sides taking out um, a couple of steps This is some ply that I cut off camera and I just tack this into place with some nails. Yeah, I'm just cleaning the ply up the little bit of overhang that was there um, and then I just basically make sure all the arises are removed so it's nice and smooth and I'm not going to cut my hand or hurt my hand when I'm um, pulling the drawer from the left to the right when it's in its new home. And that's pretty much it guys uh, for this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe and um, I shall see you in the next video.